Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star Online, Episode 2. This is Gilbert, and we're in the seabed lower levels. And we're about to reach my favorite room. Yeah, see, there it is, the red guy. I thought I saw him earlier, but no. This guy is an annoying bastard. See, there aren't really too many reflective surfaces here. And that's what sucks about him. He can cast Zalur and that other one, Jelen, on you, thus decreasing your attack power and making things more difficult for you. I suppose not as bad as the Zoas, which can freeze you, but still, I don't like it. Anyway, that last message we got, uh, the last terminal we accessed, was really creepy. And... Uh, yeah, creep the fuck out of me, anyway. Anyhow, this room is where I found, I think it was this room anyway, where I found a little secret. Ah, yeah, right here. Little secret passage type of thing. Doesn't even populate on your map until around, I think, it, I think part does, yeah, like right here. And what's more, there are enemies in here. Uh, and there are the freaking lasers. Ah, cool. We got that one. That's why these guys suck. Because they have laser beams. Accidentally hit him with the special attack there. Didn't do him any good, because I still don't have any TP. And I'm still waiting for this Zalur and Jelen to wear off. Look. Yeah, this place is creepy as hell, man. Oh, great. And this has the purple poison mist that is strangely not affecting me. Interesting. Because it still affects you in Episode 1. Even as a cast, you still lose hit points. So maybe this stuff does something different, or maybe it's just meant to be creepy, or... I don't... I don't know. I'm not actually sure. I always thought it uh, was draining my health every time, but I guess not. No, it doesn't matter. And here's our reward for finding this. A bunch of boxes. Big old item room. Yeah. I was a little disappointed this is all it was, but it, it's still fun to find. The problem is there are other areas, I mean, there are other spots in the level of design that are very similar to the little nook you kind of creep under to get here. And yet you can't go through there, so a, a lot of people would assume that you can't go there, you know? I don't know. Whatever. This is pretty sweet. I was a little worried about this part here where you tip under the water. This room is pretty awesome. I don't know, I really like it for some reason. I just, uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I was trying to say that Flowin is recognizing and realizing that Falls possessed the body of Redring Rico, who was the girl he was talking about before in his earlier messages. Oh, crap. Yeah. This is a thing. You bastard. <laughs> That's why the enemies in this game can be so annoying. I keep accidentally... I have that map to B and I keep pressing it because I'm trying to trying to use monomates. That's why. Okay. There we go. That's better. Ah, that's... That's what we're looking for. Ah, see, there we go. Traps. Just gotta remember to use them. <laughs> this hallway is kind of creepy as well, like the way the water is. I don't know. Creeps me out. Iris? This is the lab. Ellie speaking. Did you hear the message? Yeah, I heard the damn message. That wasn't a log. That was... That was a... That wasn't a previously recorded message. It was on the- it was the same as the first one the lab received. 
and that. And and we just now re and we just received this now. This is a real time. Reaction is Iris from below. Oh, and we're locked out of that. Can't do anything with it. Oh, crap, this room. Uh, this is not creepy at all. Uh, no, it's completely creepy. And we have barrier traps like we do before. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's see, now the water's really deep. If you made a super short character, I think at this point... Your head was, your head was sticking out. I'm not sure. I never made a fully, I never made a character that was as short as possible. Basically, I never made a loli or a chibi or whatever you want to call it. I'm not into that stuff. And honestly, I find the whole thing quite creepy. Just saying. <laughs> No offense if you do, but it, it is, it's, it's creepy. It's supposed adults that look exactly like children. Or in a lot of cases, it's just children, but... Eh, sometimes they try to use the excuse, Oh no, she's totally, like, 20 or whatever. You just, you know, had a growth problem or something. I don't know, it's stupid. Stupid way, stupid things trying to justify it. Never really works out. Uh, almost hit it. Okay, that bounces off. Doesn't stop. Now, these are gonna go two different... Hmm. So I'm gonna continue this way for now. Ah, great. Xenozoas. Of course, there's Thought there'd be one over here. Oh, okay, maybe not. I always have to... I try to watch the walls when I go through these places. Just to try and avoid getting the sneak attack like happened in, an er in that earlier part where I had nearly full HP and just pounced on me from behind and knocked me out cold. Okay, let's see. Stoop oh, crap. Well... Alright, well, that could have gone worse. Oh, crap. Why am I getting... I don't know why I was getting slow down there. That's kind of weird. There are only three enemies. Not that much going on. I suppose the water effect, maybe? Oh, this is a bad combination. Ah, crap. Don't go over there. Well, on the bright side, I got the two Morphos. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, okay. We're good. Uh, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. I think... Photon Blast will still hit it. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, they were trying to double team me there. Fortunately, I'm invisible anyway. So long as my Vara is up like that, I'll be. I'm invisible. Invincible, I should say. Not invisible. So. Makes enemies a whole lot easier. But this water is still pretty deep, and my invincibility time, I see, is over. Okay. Given how much damage I'm taking, despite the fact that I'm dealing out quite a bit myself, probably means I can't take on the boss. But again, this is a problem because, I mean, I'm still not having that much trouble with the area. You know? And I'm not getting that much experience. Like, for, for how tough for how much damage these enemies can deal, you don't get nearly the amount of experience that you should. <sighs> okay. Well, it 
Let's try... don't know how I avoided that trap, but let's try going this way. I suspect... yeah. Yeah. It's one of these rooms, one of the bridge rooms. Stupid Rico boxes. And I still can't go under there, even though I should be able to. Oh well, what you gonna do? Alright, so I guess... Hmm. Not gonna feed my mag right now. I'm gonna check out these rooms. Uh, not that one, that's probably the way to go. But, we'll continue... Uh, or this way could be the way to go. Either way, I'm pretty confident that over there, there isn't anything else. However, there might be terminals. Which means we should head that way to check for them. And fortunately, I don't have to go too far to do that. Oh wow, and there's also this room up here. Which I completely forgot about, so it's a good thing I headed back. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's not much to, I can say to make the parts where I'm just running around more entertaining. I mean, these days... This game... would be considered pretty tame, and in fact... Fantasy Star Universe, which is very similar to this game, which... even though it came out much later you know, was actually suffered from that because the design of it was both too different and too similar to Fantasy Star Online's. And by too different, I mean it was different in a bad way. But it was similar because it still, it seemed to still be a game that I, I feel like Fantasy Star Universe was a game that if it had come out five years earlier, people would have thought it was great. You know? And Fantasy Star Online lasted for over 10 years. I mean, it was a long time before we even got Universe. And the fact that we got Universe so late... I mean, Fantasy Star Universe literally came out right at the end of the PlayStation 2 life cycle. I mean, it was, li it was literally like a month or two before the PS3 came out. And with how the game was... It it, it's not a bad game, but it wasn't a great game either. Well, certainly got a lot of money. Unfortunately, I actually would buy some Trimates, but since they're not in the shop, there's nothing I can do. Probably shouldn't have sold that Trimate <laughs> that I picked up, but... Oh well. Now, let's see. Okay, so there are a couple items in here I can pick up real quick. But other than that, time to head back over here, and I guess we'll go ahead and go across and see where it leads. Hopefully, I have this right. Oh, it's up. I get right. Okay, yeah, it's up here. You know, I'm surprised these record boxes can take a full combo of, <laughs> of the double saber. I I would think that they wouldn't last that long, but hey, what do you know? Oh, wow, great, that's not useful at all. And I don't know why the map section isn't showing up here. There it goes. That was weird. Okay, well, I'm so glad we got to see all that. <laughs> uh, I should have fed my mag while I was up there. Dang it, I forgot about it. Uh, maybe I should have focused on defense. <laughs> maybe I'd be able to survive the bosses. I mean, it's not like defense has zero effect. It just doesn't have as much as one as it should. Alright. This way, that way. Hmm, let's go this way first. Hey, 
And I think we have time to clear this hallway out and then see what's on the other side of the door. Ah, crap. Oh, I didn't... Dang it. I set the trap when I didn't mean to. Oh, well. Oh, it worked out. Okay, so... There's... N oh. I was about to say there's nothing I can do here, but... Damn freaking... Oh, crap. Stupid lasers. Okay. Ooh, an HP material. Gonna use that. And I guess I'll clear out this room and then call it. And next time we'll... <sighs> next time we'll resume recording or exploring the rest of this. Hey, level 30. There we go. That's sort of what I was hoping for before this part ended. There we go. There we are. That's better. Oh, hey, what do you know? One of these. Ah, see, there's a terminal over there. Okay, so next time, we'll go check out that terminal and get the rest of the story, hopefully. I think, looking at the map, yeah, we should be we should be pretty close to the boss. So, we should be pretty much done here. So next part, we should finish this up and reach the boss, and I don't know if I'll give the boss a try or not. We'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll decide when, it come, when the time comes. Anyway, I thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough so far, and I'll see you next time. Later.